It's my second day at McDowell. I found out that this is actually soup. It's this really delicious mushroom soup. So some things that people have said about McDowell are coming true. One is that you get here the first day, you look around, and you're like, I'm not going to get into an orgy situation because, you know, people are not as attractive as some people you'd like to get in an orgy situation. And then suddenly, the next day, you've been so isolated, you're looking at people like, oh, wow. Like, I, I might be a full-blown lesbian at the end of this. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, I slept, like, 13 hours last night. I'm still trying to get used to the dryness of the... I, they set up this humidifier, but I think the humidifier is just... I don't know if you can kind of... Oh, let me watch my... Anyway, the humidifier gets... It seems to just have a thrust of, like, one foot, and I think it's just making the floor wet. But I've been having crazy dreams. Like I had a dream my grandfather like was writing poetry for, and he offered it to everyone to do crit on. And that was kind of crazy. And there was this like really lovely poem about how much he loved me and whatever. Not whatever, but I'm just saying. Um, and uh, oh, you know what? I also am not used to in New Hampshire. All the cook staff and the housekeeping are all white people, and that's. I, I, it's, it's, you know, like, what's happening? It almost makes me uncomfortable, like, like, uh, you know, like they're being punished or something. I've never seen this before. Um, I don't know if that will make people upset that I just pointed that out. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to enjoy my lunch and just wanted to say hello from McDowell.